Wednesday evening at 730, WKBN will air a half hour special called Fair Play. It's a conversation about sports and race. One person we included in the conversation was Jim Trestle. And with what he had to say, here's First News anchor Stan Boney. Before Jim Trestle was president of Youngstown State, he coached the Penguins football team and then coached at Ohio State. I recently sat with Trestle to talk about sports and racism. He says he was very aware of the different racial backgrounds of his players and intentionally created activities to bring them together. If you spend time with someone else that might not look like you or might not think like you or might not act like you or believe like you, um, you're going to grow to appreciate them because you'll find out that you're more similar than you are dissimilar. Trestle could not recall any overt cases of racism, but he could tell when players were not getting along, and he had a solution for that. And it gave you that moment to say, hey, you know what? Those two guys need to room together on the road next week. Trestle's father was a legendary football coach at Baldwin Wallace, and he remembers his father dealing with the racial unrest of the late 1960s. Wanting uh, to be there and hear concerns, wanting to be, um, you know, a voice of reason, but also a voice of understanding that, you know, what he didn't understand. Now that he's president of a university, Trestle has come more in contact with the general student population and not just the football team. And what he has noticed is that young people today have a greater desire to learn about people around them who might be different. We always talk about, well, what's this world going to look like when my grandkids are my age? I hope what it looks like is that no one even has to discuss racism because that's not even in anyone's thought process. Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News. Again, if you want to catch that special Fair Play, a conversation about sports and race, it'll air Wednesday night, 730 right here on WKBN.